hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to use a backdrop filter widget in your flutter application so if you look at the emulator here i have a simple page which has got an uh, enlarged version of an image and i've got a simple container here which is which has a filter inside it similar way i can add a filter inside icons as you can see all the three icons in the bottom have this backdrop filter added to it and I have a couple of other scenarios where I could add the filter even for the button like the home page with the login and registration or I could add even the filter to um, a list item in the below where as and when I scroll the list I get different images pictures displayed here with the details of the picture here so these are the couple of use cases that I thought a filter really works and uh, to talk about a backdrop filter it's, it's the definition seems to be very simple it depends on how you use it and where you use it and how effectively you use it now when I say a backdrop filter it's nothing but any container placed inside a backdrop adds a filter to the container so the filter is nothing but that frosty blur effect. Now that's it. That is what the job of this backdrop filter does. Now if you ask me, I can change the color of the frosty filter. I can give depending on my image. I kept this natural because my background goes well with this white color. You could change the frost color. It's not necessary that um, you have to stick to the container you could uh, definitely use on other images or any other articles. Now, one more thing that I observed is um, whenever, uh, if, if your app has a use case where, say for example, if it's a recipe app, and if you wanna know the ingredients or the recipe of that particular uh, recipe, you don't have to click on a button and it moves to another page instead you could add a button here saying click for the ingredients or recipe and when you click you have this container displaying where it actually filters up your back image which could be a recipe and it shows the ingredients of the recipe here so it's kind of um, a filter that adds and you don't have to create another page so in those kind of scenarios definitely you can use a backdrop filter so i think uh, that's more than a, enough for an explanation for a backdrop filter so let's see how we can implement it so i'll clear up this template and just get back to you with the background image so that i'll show you how to add this simple filter so here i have a very simple template it's nothing but a stack because i'm gonna place my container over the image so i'm gonna stack all the elements over it so i'm using a stack and a, a box decoration with a simple image that picks up the entire background now let's add that container the container that i want to be frosted or which has to have a backdrop filter so to start up with the container i'm gonna say a column widget and inside the column i'm gonna give a churn array and i'm gonna give a row And inside this, I'm going to give another children widget array. It's just to make sure that I get that feel and look of what I'm looking for. You can definitely modify this content. You don't have to follow the same pattern, but you just have to follow where I add the backdrop filter. So I'm just going to add a child element. Now this is, um, okay, I think it's the container for me first. So this is the container that gets backdrop filter so it has a child element and this element has just simple text in it say for example according to my demo it's mount everest now i want to apply a filter to this particular child text so what i'm going to do is i don't want to add the filter here instead i'm going to define it a separate function so i'm going to say it has a frosted um container so whenever i use this i'm going to get all my containers frosted 
or get a backdrop filter added to it so let's define this container so it's basically a widget which takes uh, another widget as a parameter so I'll define it as a child now inside this um, I'm going to use a clip rect widget because you see last in my previous video I ex explained how to get this rounded corners how to clip these corners in your container and if you've not seen my video I'll leave a link in the description so please do watch it so I'm using a clip rect so it's going to be a written clip r rect so this clip r rect requires a few factors first one is the border radius and I'm going to give a border radius of um, 15 yeah 15 should be fine and I'm going to give it a circular to achieve that circular effect and um, then I'm gonna add my backdrop filter so whatever is placed okay now the backdrop filter starts so it's the backdrop filter there you go and this requires a filter now we'll see what this filter is all about so the filter is nothing but it's an image filter with the blurring effect of 10 and 10 so they follow some kind of Gaussian blurring effect so if you click on this it says that these are the image filters that applies a Gaussian blur so you can definitely play around with these values and see how your blurring effect changes and now what do you want to blur where do you want to apply this filter i want to apply this filter to my child which is nothing but a container and this container has an height and width now i have a particular height and width that i've used because i want the size so I have used the height as um okay i think i'm missing a closing yeah so i think there was a missing closing brace so yeah so i was talking about the height and width where i wanted to achieve this one in the center so depending on that i've provided an height and width parameters and then here comes the color of your frost or the blur effect the blurring part so i'm going to give a color and i'm going to keep it plain white because my background is something which requires a white color and with an opacity of 0.3 this is also another parameter that you could play and see how you want your blurring effect to be now if you do this and um okay i think it's my frosted container okay there you go so i'm going to build this and i'll show you how the output looks like so there you go you can see the filter but i'm going to position it to the center so i'm just going to add a couple of padding and some axis alignment so first thing i'm going to add is to my column mm, okay I think my column yeah this requires an axis alignment so I'm gonna use and and then I'm also gonna use for the row to space it evenly and then I'm gonna add a padding to this child element I think not the container so first let's see how this looks like there you go so we could get this container with a blur effect by using a backdrop filter but it is situated at the end i wanted it at the center and also i've added this text mount everest it's not appearing so let's fix that so I, yeah i think this is instead of end i'm going to say center and um, the child widget was missing so let's add that yeah and if you do a hard restart 
yeah so definitely you can add whatever pin content you want inside this blurred effect container so yeah there you go you see the uh, backdrop filter applied to this container so adding content inside it is purely your choice you can add you can play around with the content but this is how you achieve the black drop filter by using this image filter and whatever the child you add inside this filter gets that particular effect and also i wanted to show you the color so instead of white if i give a green it's gonna blur in that particular color with an opacity of 0.3 so if you look at the um, container it's no more a frosty white color you would see a tint of greenish in this so this way depending on your images you want to change these colors it's possible you can change even the opacity and um, yeah and also the shapes of it so you can play around with this so this is how you use a backdrop filter widget in your flutter application it's very simple to use but make sure that you use it in the right places and um, yeah so if you do like the video please give it a like and do subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you